this question, a person's throwing a ball and they're not on the ground. They're at the edge of an 80 foot tall building. They throw it straight up and the H of T is the height of the ball after T seconds. So if I just draw a picture of what's happening, we're gonna throw the ball from a height of 80 in this problem, but your height's probably different. The ball's gonna go like this. Of course, it's gonna go through the ground if the graph of the parabola would go through the ground in both directions, but that extra part of the parabola is not applicable to our situation because we don't care about what happened before time zero or after the ball hits the ground. It's not going in through the ground. All right, so we have this parabola. It's a sad parabola right here. So let's get the uh, t-intercepts first. So you're setting zero equal to the function h of t. Normally we'd be finding x-intercepts where you'd set f of x equal to zero, but we're finding t-intercepts here. So our h of t functions at the top there, negative 16 t squared plus 64 t. And now it's a great time to make sure your t's don't look like your plus. Plus 80 equals zero, okay. I like my square term to be positive, so I'm gonna multiply the whole thing by negative one. Uh, if you were thinking in terms of graphing, this would take the graph and do a vertical reflection, but the t-intercepts would not change when you perform this reflection. So we're still get, gonna get the right t-intercepts here. 16t squared minus 64t minus 80. Uh, I can factor some stuff out of here. I think I could factor a four out. Probably can factor more than a four out, but we'll start there. 64 divided by two is 32, divided by two is 16t. 80 divided by four is 20. Looks like we can factor another four out of here. t squared minus 4t minus 5. All right, so that's all of 16. If you saw that originally, great. I am really bad with numbers. All right, I now want to factor this. 5, I want to multiply to make a 5. 5 is prime, so there's not many options. It's t uh, plus or minus 1, t plus or minus 5. Now we're going to think about the pluses and the minuses. If I make them both negative and I multiply, I'm going to get positive 5, not negative 5. So 1 is negative, 1 is positive. I'm just going to take a guess. t minus 1, t plus 5. Checking negative 1 times positive 5 is negative 5, so that gets us the right constant. Now the inside outside have to add up to negative four. So we have t times five is five t minus t is positive four t, but I need negative four t. So we're gonna flip this to be t plus one t minus five. And now we do get the minus four t. So this means t equals negative one or t equals positive five. Remember it's the t value that zeros these factors out. All right, so we get negative one and positive five. All right, let's go to our graph above. So if I continue this down, there's our negative one intercept. Here's our positive five intercept. And one of these questions can be answered right now. What's the maximum height of the ball? Can't answer that. That's going to be that point. We'll get that next. How many seconds does it take until the ball hits the ground? So if we throw it at zero, it'll hit the ground at five seconds. So that's five seconds after zero. So that's where our answer to this part comes in. Okay, it's not negative one. It's not also negative one because as explained earlier, this is before we actually threw it. So that's not applicable. All right, max height of the ball. So max height of the ball up here, there'll be a, a vertex and we need the x and y coordinates of that vertex. 
And how do we get that? So remember the vertex, the x coordinate, I'll call it xv, x coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. And this comes from your, oh, I probably should be using letter t, t value of the vertex, negative b over 2a. And our h of t is ax squared plus bx plus c. So for us, negative 16, and I keep writing x's instead of t's. So negative 16 t squared plus 64 t plus 80. So you can see right here, a is negative 16, b is positive 64, c is positive 80, and now we can plug in the values here, tv, is negative 64 over 2 times negative 16. So we have both negatives will cancel. So we have 64 over 32, which is 2. All right, so our vertex t coordinate is 2. Let's talk about why that makes sense for a minute and how you could have gotten that earlier. So that is 2. Notice that is exactly halfway between the t-intercepts because there is a, an axis of symmetry right down the middle here. Uh, so that's another way you could have gotten 2. It's halfway between negative 1 and positive 5. So you could have gone 2 equals negative 1 plus 5 over 2. You average two numbers to get the middle number, and that's how you get uh, positive 2. All right, that's not... The answer right here, that's how many seconds, that's not how many feet. So how do we find the feet? We just plug in that t value into our original h of t function. So we'll do that next. All right. Plug into h of t. So I'm just going to rewrite h of t, then I will plug in the values. We have 16t squared plus 64t plus 80. And h of 2, you just plug in 2 everywhere. Alright, 2 squared is 4 times 16 is a lot. It's negative 64 plus 64 times 2 plus 80. So we have negative 64 plus 64 times 2 is positive 64. That just combines those first two together. Plus 80 is 100 something, 144. All right, and that should be right there. Okay, so hopefully this will help you uh, answer all these questions. I know this one can be tricky when it's word problems, but just remember, it's all coming back to quadratics and x-intercepts and the vertex are super important for most of the quadratic questions.